So I've been a big fan of fitness trackers for a long time, and I've uh, tested out several, and I've liked several, and I've really disliked several, and, um, you know, in fact, I'm even in the process of testing another one right now for an upcoming review. So if you want to see that, definitely get subscribed. But that's not the purpose of this video. Uh, the purpose of this video is to see how far smartwatches have come over the last few years. Of course, we all know that as technology advances, um, things get better and hopefully at the same time cheaper as new innovations and technologies come about. Now, smartwatches can still run you several hundred dollars depending on who they're made by, what features, what functionality, what quality, that, that sort of thing um, will all play a significant role in what you get for your money. So I wanted to check out a smartwatch without spending a bunch of money. Um, and, and I've tested, uh, I tested one out months, months ago, and, um, and it's this guy right here. And if you want to see a review on this, let me know. I'll be more than happy to show you what you get for $10. But today we're going to take a look at a watch called the Y1. Um, it's a smartwatch that was imported from China. I got it on Amazon. I will have a non-affiliate link in the description down below, so you can go check that out. So I ordered the watch a few months ago. It took about three weeks to get here, uh, for the, you know, not necessarily for them to ship it, but for it to get overseas and go through customs and all of that stuff that we have to go through when we import goods from other countries. So after about three weeks of waiting, it showed up. Uh, I played with it for a few days, and I let it sit on my desk for the longest time because there were, there were just things about it that I didn't like. And then um, I started doing some more research about smartwatches and that sort of thing and realized that um, that's just me, I guess. Um, I, you know, it only gets about a day to a day, day and a half of, of usage before it's got to get recharged. And that doesn't really work for me uh, because I've been using fitness trackers for so long um, that there are just certain things that I've grown accustomed to, you know, like a, a seven to 10 day battery life. Um, I, I use the, the silent alarm on any of the trackers that I get. In fact, that, that's a deal breaker. If a tracker doesn't have a silent alarm, I won't even look at it. Like that, that's a deal breaker for me. And so if, if this watch has to sit on the charger overnight, then I can't have it on my wrist in the morning when I need it to go off to wake me up to get out of bed. So, so that was a big, a big issue for me because I like having that silent alarm. Then I did some research and, and I found several, uh, good quality smartwatches out there that only get 14 to 18 hours of battery life before they've got to be recharged. So, um, I guess that's, that's just one of the trade-offs for having a touchscreen LCD screen, um, on your watch with, with its full color, uh, versus just a single color, uh, you know, a tracker, uh, device. So, um, so that was one of the, my, my biggest hurdles. And now that I've realized that that isn't necessarily always going to be the case, um, I was able to be a bit more forgiving on it. So there's a lot of things that it does that I really, really like. Um, you get notifications for, you know, phone calls, text messages, social medias, things like that. Um, you can set that up uh, either on, well, on the phone, but also in the app that you'll have to download um, called Fun Run. I think you can, I know there's a QR code on the, on, on actually on one of these screens that I'll, I'll show you later um, that will take you to a spot to download the app. But I don't remember if it's, if it's like a third party Chinese website um, or if it actually takes you to the, to the, to the Play Store. But I know the app is available on the Play Store. So I would suggest getting it from there. But once you've got it all, once you've got the app installed and once you've got it, uh, synchronized and whatnot, um, you, it, it will synchronize to your phone as far as, um, you know, date and time, things like that. Um, you can actually make and receive phone calls from this. Um, so you know, if you wanted to do kind of that Dick Tracy thing, that's a reference that you get. Um, most of my audience should know who Dick Tracy is. Um, but, but he had this cool watch, um, you know, like clear back in like the forties or fifties or something that he could talk into. And it was like a portable telephone and you can actually do that with this, which I thought was pretty neat. Um, you can also synchronize it to, um, say a set of Bluetooth headphones. So you could use it as, um, as, as something to replace your, your phone or your, or your MP3 player. You just load this up with the music that you want to take, say, running with you or to the gym with you. Um, and then you just got it on your wrist. You got your, your Bluetooth headphones on. There's no cables. There's no bouncing around. Um, you know, if, if, even if you use something like this, uh, you know, that goes on your arm, I don't think these work as well as people want them to. Maybe that's just, I, maybe I've just had bad luck, but, but having, uh, having something on my arm isn't, 
isn't for me, I guess. Um, so, so having the option to load my music on here, synchronize it to a Bluetooth uh, set of headphones, and go for a bike ride, go for a run, go to the gym, whatever. Um, I, I really dig the ability to do that. Um, you can also do things like um, use it to to take pictures. Um, there's no camera on here, but it will open a camera app on your phone. Um, and you can remotely take pictures that way. I don't think it's got video, but it will do pictures and that's that's fine for me. But I tell you what, let's let's switch camera angles. I'll go ahead and show you uh, through the phone some of the different screens, then we'll pop open the back of it. We'll take a look at the battery, the, the SIM tray, uh, the SD card tray. We'll take a look at all of that and then we'll come back and we'll kind of sum everything up and I want to get your opinion on some things. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do here is turn this on. And we're greeted with that nice little tone there. Here we can see that it's already got the date and the time and, and all of that. It automatically connected to my uh, V20. So that's all really good. Um, and then from here, we can scroll through and we can see that we've got uh, phone book, dialer, call logs, messaging on the first screen. Uh, over here, uh, we've got um, a WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, and then your Bluetooth settings. Now, the one thing to note about um, about this screen particularly is if you try to open Facebook, WhatsApp, or Twitter, um, it's going to throw an error saying that you need to have a provisioned SIM card or a valid SIM card inserted. Um, there, there are just certain, certain things, and, and really it's just these three, that require it to have its own data connection. Um, there, there is a spot in the back of the, of the watch that I'll show you that, uh, that does have, um, a spot to put a micro SIM as well as an SD card. Um, but we'll, we'll definitely cover that when, uh, when we're done with this little area. So on the next screen, we've got, um, anti-lost, uh, which is if you, let's say you're, you're sitting on the couch, your phone falls into the couch, you don't realize it. Uh, we can press this. So from this screen, we've got a couple of options, uh, like here it says looking phone or anti-lost. Um, anti-lost lets you turn this on if you, um, let's say you leave your your phone somewhere, you walk away, you come and and, and it breaks Bluetooth connection. Um, it's kind of like a, hey, you left your phone somewhere, go back and get it. Um, and then this other one, this uh, looking for a phone, let's say you're sitting on the couch and uh, your your phone falls out of your pocket, falls into the couch. Uh, you can press that and it will uh, make your phone ring so that you can hear it and not expect somebody else to call you. Um, so both of those very, very uh, good functionality to have. Uh, we'll go back. One thing I will say is there's no back button here. Um, so you always have to hit the, the button over here on the right side to take you back to here and then you swipe over again. Uh, the nice thing is it will take you back to the screen that you were just on. Um, so, so that's good. Here up at the top, we've got remote notifications, uh, nothing going on there. Um, if you set up the app um, on the phone to notify you of certain things, you can find those notifications in here. Um, below that, we've got the calendar, uh, which just really shows today, and then it kind of gives you a calendar view there. Um, I don't think it actually does anything from there, um, but at least you can see what the calendar looks like, you know, what day of the week uh, a certain date is, that sort of thing. Uh, if we go back, um, and we can go into our settings here, uh, phone settings, call settings, and then restore. Uh, sedentary, this is cool. Um, you can turn this on or off, and you can say, um, you know, remind me every 30 minutes uh, to get up and move around a little bit. Oops. Um, and you can... Um, Come on, there we go. And you can tell it to uh, just vibrate or, or, or ring and vibrate, whatever you want it to do there. Uh, so that's pretty handy. Let's, oops. Again, I really wish there was a back button, but there just isn't. Um, the, the, pedo there, the, there's a pedometer on here. Um, but I'm, I'm not super thrilled with it. It's not nearly as accurate, um, as I would like it to be. I've, I've tested it against several other pedometers, um, and the numbers on that are just, just way off. So I would not use this to try to replace, a, a Fitbit or a Garmin or something like that. Uh, same goes with the sleep monitor. I wouldn't trust it. Um, it's just, it's not, it's not something that, that I've had good luck with, uh, thus far. Um, Let's see what else. Oh, the, the, there's this quick thing here. Uh, if you've got a QR 
uh, scanner on your phone, you can scan this. You get the URL for the app, which I think you have to download from a third party if you use this. Um, you can also just go to the App Store and search for Fun Run and download it that way, and that's how I would suggest doing that. So on the next screen, we've got Profiles. Um, so if you know, you're just out and about doing your thing, you can set it to general. Um, you know, if you're, let's say it's nighttime, you don't want to be disturbed, you can put it on silent. If you're in a meeting, you can have it. You've got all these different options as far as uh, what kind of notification uh, you'll receive as far as how loud it'll be. Uh, will it just vibrate? What, what will it do? Uh, you can set all your profiles in there. Uh, your alarm, you can set up here. Um, and, and I just tested that. It works actually really well. Uh, but you can set the time for whatever you'd like it to be. Uh, you can say how often do you want it to repeat? And then what, uh, what ringtone do you want it to have? So that's, that's all in there and, and easy to use. Calculator. If you, if you really want to use a calculator, you can do that from here. Pretty, pretty simple stuff there. I don't think, there we go. Uh, the, the one spot where there is a back button. So at least there's that. Uh, file manager. Um, it just takes you immediately to your memory card. Uh, if you got audio files in here, um, uh, you can play those. Um, the, the, this audio folder specifically is uh, for another feature that I'll show in just a minute. Um, file management, if you've got pictures or music, uh, whatever, like I've got some, looks like some old three doors down in there. Um, but I'm not going to play that for copyright reasons. Um, if you do go into my music, however, um, this is good because, um, well, mostly because this is, uh, I, I, can, I can actually play these. Uh, we're going to go ahead and disconnect that. See if we can't get it to play. There we go. Um, so not super loud, but... Um, you, you could, you know, preview something there. Um, but let's go ahead and go back. We'll go back again. Uh, photos, if you got any photos in there. Uh, nope, nothing in there right now. Uh, nothing in that folder either. So we'll come out of that. Uh, what else? What do we have on the next screen? Image viewer, if you've got pictures. Again, no pictures. Uh, themes, I don't have any themes on here other than the default. Um, and, and these are, these are a couple of things I wanted to show. So, um, we could, uh, like, say, for instance, hit the sound recorder, um, and then hit the record button. Maybe. There we go. So now we are officially recording. So test one, two, three. This is me testing the recording functionality on the, the smart watch. So I'll go ahead and click stop. But it works. It doesn't sound too bad for, for what it is. Um, and if we come, oops, nope, not that. There we go. Now the audio player, uh, th this is where I think this, uh, this device actually has a lot of potential. Um, and what I mean by that is, um, there, there's a lot of things that I don't think it does very well. It doesn't have a great battery life. The notifications are, are okay. But again, like the pedometer is not great. The sleeper or the sleep monitor is not great. But you can actually pair this with, uh, say, a set of Bluetooth headphones, come into your audio player with, um, you know, your favorite, uh, your favorite workout list. Um, and, and the music that will play in here is what you've got in the My Music folder that you can put in there via, you know, putting the, the SD, the micro SD card in your computer. So from here, uh, I can go ahead and play that. Um, if I, if I don't want to listen to this one anymore, obviously I can go to the next one. And again, you're not gonna, you're not gonna impress anybody with, uh, the sound quality that comes out of here. But if you've got a good set of Bluetooth headphones, uh, this works really, really well. Um, and you can actually go in and synchronize this to a set of Bluetooth headphones. And, and you could take this running and, um, and not have to take your phone with you. So I really dig that. Uh, you got your SIM toolkit if you want to do, if you do want to put a SIM card in there. Um, remote camera, which I'll show in just a second. Power save, uh, you can turn the power save on. Get a few extra hours out of your battery if you want to do that. Um, and motion. Um, it's got a motion sensor in there, so if the screen's off, you can just flip your wrist up, have the screen come on. Uh, you can flip this over to mute incoming calls, uh, flip to mute alarms. Um, like, you got all kinds of different uh, gestures in there that you can use to do different things.
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit this remote camera here. Let's see if we can't, there it goes, just automatically um, on my phone there, popped that up. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this around. And hey, there I am. So I'm going to go ahead and click capture. And it just took that picture. And then we can preview it, we go back. Um, you know, there's, uh, there's, there's the little point sheet I'm using for this video. Go ahead and click capture on that. So, um, it's, it's nothing groundbreaking, but it is kind of cool to be able to do that. Uh, if we go back one more time there. Um, so that pretty much covers everything there. Really, I think that's it as far as the functionality directly built into the watch. Uh, so let's go ahead and flip it over. Um, and you can pop the back of this off. Now here we can see that it's the battery that's in here is, uh, the 300 milliamp hour, uh, 3.7 volt lithium ion. Um, it's got the model number on there. Um, so there's that. And then you can just go ahead and reach in here, pop this out. Maybe if I'm smart enough, there we go. And then here you can see I've got an SD card in there. I've got just a four gig in there right now. And you can put a micro SIM, maybe a nano SIM, one of those in here for some of that extra functionality. Um, so that, that's actually pretty handy. Or you could take the SIM out of your phone, drop it in here and use this as a remote phone in case you didn't want to bring your whole device with you. So um, overall, pretty, pretty slick the way it works. Um, again, I wish the battery life uh, was better, um, but it is only 300 milliamp, 380 milliamp hours. Um, so, so we can't expect too much out of that. Okay, so there you have it. I mean, overall, like I said, this isn't going to be a groundbreaking uh, device. It's only 25 bucks. Uh, you do have to import it from China. But overall, um, it does, what it does, it does pretty well. Um, again, it's, it's 25 bucks. Uh, it's a great way to see if a smartwatch is what you're interested in getting for your next device um, without having to spend two or three or four or five or thousand um, dollars you know you can pick one of these up for like twenty five dollars get a feel for it find out what you what, what what's a deal breaker and what's not um, and and if you know what your deal breakers are I'd love for you to put those in the comment section down below I'd love to know what it is you have to have on on a wearable whether it's a watch or a tracker or whatever that's either uh, th that you have to have before you'll make a purchasing decision so leave those down in the comment section below if you find this video helpful or informative or, or any of that good stuff, uh, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. That helps me out quite a bit. And uh, if you're new here, uh, hit the subscribe button. I've got new reviews coming out. Um, like I said, I'm doing a review on on this uh, this tracker that I got the other day. Um, if you're interested in seeing what a $10 smartwatch looks like and how it works, uh, also thumbs up, comments down below, all that stuff. Um, but I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Again, thank you so much for your time. I always appreciate it when you watch, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.